Just over a year ago, on February 24th, 2022, Russian forces began their full-scale invasion of Ukraine, setting off a devastating conflict that has rocked the lives of millions of Ukrainians. The war has caused death, with estimates close to 30,000 Ukrainian civilian casualties. Unthinkable damage, of course, disruption to everyday life. For college students, it's changed or even stopped their education. But Ashland University's Ukrainian Freedom Scholar Program is aiming to help. I had the chance to meet several students who are getting a new start right here in Ohio. So it wasn't that he was entirely uh, beyond, you know, beyond the reach of the uh, people. It's a typical Tuesday at Ashland University, and international relations is underway. And then what do the Athenians do? They do exactly the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> but for these four students... Either way, uh, we can now help America, we can help Ukraine. Lessons on the geopolitical climate or global conflict hit much closer to home. I feel safe. I'm in a peaceful country. I can study, but uh, I still need to uh, understand that my family is still in danger. At 17 years old, Donna Krukovska has had to grow up quickly. And situation there is, is awful because uh, Russians are shelling and um, are striking missiles in my city. They are slowly destroying it. New pictures that we've got in now, which shows tanks, helicopters and soldiers at the Kakhovka hydroelectric power plant. Her hometown in Ukraine, Kakhovka, was occupied by Russian forces early in the war. The Russian flag is raised. Her family forced to hide. Then they fled. It's, it's like a simple sport bag and uh, I just left my home with this back and that's all. Donna carrying a few reminders of the life she once knew. I didn't manage to take much photos with me because we were leaving our home really, really fast uh, and it's the only photos I managed to grab. In her dorm room in Ashland, Ohio, home has probably never felt farther away. I don't know if I will be able to see my parents, and I don't know if I will be able to return to my home and see my home. But she's not alone in this new chapter. Do you want to do it as a minor or as a major? As a minor. Olga Monosel is a professor at Ashland University. For her, the conflict is personal. I felt the connection you know, this was my homeland being attacked and at war, and I felt like I needed to do something about it. That's when Monacel learned about the Ukrainian Global University Program, a network of schools worldwide that are working to help Ukrainian students whose lives were disrupted by war continue their educations. To create for them this environment where they will feel safe because they have not felt safe for such a long time. Monacel took the idea to the Ashbrook Center and learned they would sponsor five scholarships. Donna and fellow students Max, Mitra and Oleksandra are all dedicated to giving back to their country. That's kind of what stimulates me like to like now gain this knowledge and bring him back to Ukraine kind of try to rebuild this in in my case it will be in a political way because I really want to do great changes that will um, affect everyone but as much as they want to learn they also want to teach others talking with students with uh, professors about Ukraine tell them tell them about our history about the situations um, because I'm a citizen and I know what's happening in my country. Dispelling misunderstandings about their culture. It would also be nice to really finally distinguish like Ukrainian people from Russian people. We are very different nations. We have very different mentalities. While also adjusting to the quirks of American life. We, we have ordered like uh, in Arby's, uh, so we're here like next to the university. We have ordered uh, like a medium sized drink and it was like, Whoa. It's like two extra it's large. Extra large. That's like, okay. Yeah, that's two times extra large. Oh, nice. Yes. <laughs> Here in Ashland, Donna is finding her smile again and enjoying the hallmarks of a normal college experience, knowing that one day she'll be back in the place she calls home, hoping to make it better than she left it. I love Ukraine because it's my home country. My parents grew up there, I grew up there. I love people there. I love our language, our history, our culture. 
Well, the Ukrainian Freedom Scholar Program will provide scholarships for five Ukrainian students. So far, as you saw, four students are participating. But I was just so in awe of the strength, of the bravery, the resilience of these four students. I mean, to leave their homes, their families, everything they know behind, to come to a new place, knowing that the conflict is ongoing and still yes. showing up to class every day and doing their best. I mean, truly, Ukraine has a bright future with these, with these students at the helm. And you've done such a great job with different stories beyond just yes. this one Aww. and yes. highlighting all, all that has gone on and the uh, uh, impacts Northeast Ohioans are trying to make to give back to through this aftermath. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, it pays off tenfold to, to see students want to do something themselves, too, and kind of pave the way and set, set the future on a different tone. Yeah. I'm so impressed by her and her story of resilience. Mm -hmm. She is such a tenacious woman and I can't wait to see how she shows up and how mm -hmm. she helps other people going through similar situations. Right, just 17 years old, but she's already accomplished a lifetime. Oh my gosh, all right. Thanks, Thanks Isabel.